Hi, welcome back to another video from thiskindofgirl.com, the home of smart and sexy swinger advice. Today I am sharing with you how to swing if you are a single man. Please subscribe to my channel, check me out on social media at thiskindofgirl2020 and visit thiskindofgirl.com for all the very best smart and sexy swinger help. So let's get straight down into it and talk about how to swing if you are a single guy. So both men and women can be single swingers. However, how they are received in the swinging world is very different. There's not an awful lot of room for male swingers and the room that there is is often quite niche. Women, on the other hand, are better received but they do have to be emotionally healthy to deal with solo swinging. Men have an advantage over women in this department as they usually can have sex without inputting too much emotion. Um, it's not always as easy for women to have sex who do tend to form emotional bonds um, with people they have sex with. This is not men or women's fault, it's just biologically how we are put together. Um, so sometimes um, being a single male swinger does have its advantages because you can adapt to the lifestyle a lot more easy basically is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, and it's just how we are wired up as humans. So let's have a look at how you can be a successful male swinger, starting with the guys. Now, I am not a man, obviously, um, but I have had many conversations with male swingers um, over the years at swing clubs, and also um, I regularly chat to uh, lots of my fans and followers on my social media pages. Um, and I can, I feel I can give you a pretty good insight into what it's like. Firstly, you need to be aware that gaining access to swinger clubs can be difficult, as most are open to couples and single girls only. If you do gain access to a club, then chances are the organiser will want to verify you are who you say you are and that you understand the rules and the etiquette to follow once you are inside. Unfortunately, some men think that all women inside swing clubs are gagging for it and act inappropriately around couples and single women. Now, this is not all swingers, um, it is just a few. And if you want some advice on how to approach couples, how to approach single women in swing clubs um, and etiquette to follow, do please check out my other videos or my content at thiskindofgirl.com because I have a lot of detailed articles, especially helping single men get the best out of swinging. So um, my man on the inside, um, my darling S, told me that before when he was a single uh, swinger, uh, before he attended a swinging party which was hosted by uh, Pleasure Island parties, um, he met with the hosts to have an informal chat so they could verify that he was who he said he was. Now don't worry, this is very normal. Um, and quite a standard practice. Um, and if you're a serious and considerate swinger, you should happily oblige, but understand that no promises could be made. So basically, the more you invest and the more time you put into it and the more seriously you take it, the more you will reap the rewards. Um, S um, told me that he was only able to attend the party as the numbers had decreased slightly. And even though the hosts were happy for him to attend, um, he wouldn't have got in unless these numbers had decreased slightly. So as I said, it is difficult to get your foot in the door as a male swinger and you have to be a, a, good, a good choice for them basically. Um, most party organisers do like there to be an even ratio of men to women, so having an excess of single men isn't always in their interest. Now, it's not all bad news, guys, don't worry. Um, some events do cater for single men, and if a club is hosting a greedy girls' night, then chances are single men will be welcome to attend. However, again, places will be limited, and the cost could well be quite high, so do check out tickets and availability well in advance. Um, and again, you will also have to be verified before you attend. Perhaps you have to make an online profile, um, 
include a picture of yourself, meet the host, etc. Um, but there are events that are suitable for single guys. Um, if you are attending private parties, then again, there are a few niches that single men can quite easily fill. Um, excuse the pun. Uh, being a bull is one of those niches. Um, when a couple is in a cuckold relationship, they um, might play with a bull um, who is a, uh, a single guy, a, a dominant guy. Um, and he will be invited into their home to have sex with the wife while the husband either watches or doesn't watch or whatever it is that they, whatever dynamics work for them. So again, this is something that um, you could get involved in. Um, there's no there's no kind of set rules. It's all, you know, the rules are personal to the couple and the single guy playing, but that is one niche that you could fill. Um, there have been times that bisexual men have wanted to get involved um, with, single bisexual men have wanted to get involved with uh, me or, you know, my partner um, a party. Again, this is absolutely fine um, for me personally. I have no problem. But if you are bisexual, um, again, you can get involved. Um, so I have a friend, um, I'll refer to him as R, who is a single guy, and it's his fantasy to get involved with a bisexual couple, um, not necessarily to have sex with them, but to be dominated by them both, um, and again, if he um, met a, a dominant couple, then this is a way that he could get involved. Um, so if you are a single guy, excuse me, and you want to get involved in swinging, there's no reason you can't, but just be prepared to jump through a few hoops. Um, if you have a single friend who's also a swinger, then you could always pair up with them and attend a party uh, together, although it's not always that easy to have a single swinger friend, I understand. Um, and even if you play separately once you're inside, you can still attend together. Um, so they're just a few options for you to get involved in the swinger lifestyle or how to get involved um, and through the pros and cons of being a man. So do join me next time because I will be talking about um, how to get involved if you are a single woman. I shall see you there.